know what I'm saying? You so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you some better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? Why well, I think building a game channel is extremely hard these days. I mean, the games are there, you know, and, and there's there's fun times you can have on the game and everything like that, but really, the content is going to be stale. And the reason why the content is going to be stale is because the games being made are stale. I mean, what else can you do but make, you know, cringe-worthy chat videos and you can't blame the people for making those videos because that's the only thing people really want to see from gaming every game is pretty much just the same load out boxes you know underpower guns then you gotta you know weird cheats where you die super easily then you gotta figure out are you gonna buy the loadout thing it's you know it's micro um um transactions are built into it Everything's built for you to grind at it for a long period of time, which is not a problem because I do enjoy some of the games. But it's like, what can you talk about it that could be so much different unless you're just that freaking good and you're so freaking good? People are watching you to try to figure out how to get better. But I really feel gone are the days are the new ninjas are going to be showing up. I feel that's that's a thing of the past because it was it was so it was so elite 10 years ago, even the technology. I mean, no, a average person couldn't even afford to have a computer uh, like mine and be able to, you know, stream in a certain quality uh, 1080, let alone 1060 was unheard of. Then, you know, building the whole room out. But now you can pretty much get a stream capable computer online for about 12 to 1500 bucks. No more. You don't need a seven thousand dollar computer to actually stream. So it, there's a whole bunch of competition. Everybody's streaming the same type of games, unless you stream something a little bit different, or if you go on Twitch and just turn into a toxic, just chatting channel. And you don't you don't want to do that. But those channels do do better because you have to have some level of extreme or or, or, or horrid actions on them. Or are you going to be that? person sitting in the hot tub in the hot tub section which is the almost a porn section of twitch but i mean i digress but i'm just saying that what new has really came from the games i said oh there's a lot of new games out but technically they're not most of the games are exactly the same i can name five games that are the same game call of duty apex legend uh now apex Legend. Or Overwatch, uh, and uh, shoot, am I running out? I'm I'm missing another one. I said Apex Legends. Oh, Battle Royale, Fortnite. They're all dang near the same basic game. They have differences, but they're the same situation. It's a Battle Royale situation where you go in, you play against other par- people, and um, that's pretty much it. You battle, you try to shoot each other. Some are more cartoony looking. Some are more gory and more realistic looking, but it's pretty much the same thing. So it's like, what is the the, the discerning factor that makes a person that watching you? You say, oh, well, it's because of your personality. Well, it can't be that much of your personality because you're not allowed to say most things, you know, these days with the cancel culture. So your personality can't be that butt naked and wide open. You're trying to make a video, but you're, at the same time, you're trying to make it where you're not offending somebody. You're trying to make it where you're, um, you're PC on one hand. Then, okay, if you're going to be toxic, you know, that eventually messes up your money. And, you know, that's going to mess up your, um, it's going to mess up your, uh, uh, your money. And you don't know if it's messing up your growth in the algorithm. So then they tell you, oh, well, listen, go up here and make how to videos on, um, and, and pull people over to pull people over to your stream. Okay, you do that, but how many people are doing that? If you go to your computer right now and you type in how to stream online, there's, I'm just going to throw a number out there, there's 300,000 freaking videos up there on doing that, which are great videos. Which I've gotten a lot of information from them, but that can no longer be a direction of how you think you're going to be able to grow your channel because everybody's doing that. 
it's a clear hack to grow your channel. You know, tell people how to stream, and then in the video you tell them, "Hey, man, come to my um, come to my uh, uh, uh my Twitch," and that's actually being played out because a lot of the guys that do that, they don't even freaking game. A lot of the guys that do that. Then you get over there and they're just talking. Oh, I'm just answering questions. What the heck was that? What's the point 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 of that? You know, and then you know, basically, if you're trying to pop on YouTube, you either or or pop in a streaming base. You have to have that lightning in the bottle and no one knows what that is. Well, I'll tell you what that is. You have to be what I feel, especially on YouTube, what they package and want to pop. I do feel that way. You have to be what they package and want to pop. And the only way you're going to do that is being balls clean, you know, super duper clean. You can't cuss. You have to be something that can sell, sell, sell. I'm not going to go into what else that is that they want to see, but you pretty much can put the rest of it together. Skin color. But if you, and then if you, even if you do that, there's so many people doing it that are that skin color. They're not getting a particular uh, advantage because there's so many people trying to do it. Who doesn't want to sit at home and just make videos and make enough to freaking live? It's like, who doesn't want to do that? Everybody wants to freaking do that. But here, here's the, here's the other kicker too. Okay, you're doing that, but slowly they're pushing all of us indie people out with the corporate. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but corporate is taking over YouTube. I'll give it to you this way. Type the word trucker in. Now, most people don't know that there's a large trucking YouTube uh, um, community, but you would know. You would think ABC and Fox News are the only people making trucking videos because the first two pages, that's all you see. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ, a person would say, I could see if it was like you type something in and ninjas up there at the top, but it's like you type it in. It's not even ninja. It's, it's a freaking huge corporation, media corporation, you know, Fox news in it or, or something like that, that is at the top. It's taking presidents. Obviously it's just corporate money up there and they're just, and, and then their numbers don't are not even better. If you go to the trending one, I've seen people on the trending page that are super huge. Let's say, let's just say NBC, just a big name. No people know they'll be at the top third trending on the page and have 29,000 views. And then under them, it'll be people who who've gotten six, 700,000 views in a couple of hours. How are they not at the top? How are they not at the top? Cause they're not pushing it through corporate numbers, man. The corporate money, the ad space, they're buying the space up. It's, you know, YouTube, the, the truth is YouTube is TV now. It's it's TV. All, you know, y- 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 there's no other way to look at that. YouTube is TV. It's not independent anymore. It shouldn't be called YouTube no more. It should be called TV Tube. It would be nice if someone, you know, made some type of a platform that just brought it back to what it was when it was just, you know, YouTubers on here. You know, I started posting consistently on my other channel. Uh, trucker brown i have ninety seven thousand subs over there i started posting consistently about five or six years ago and um i grew the channel and i seen how the algorithm changed you know when i first really started a couple of years before that you were allowed to say anything you wanted to say you could do anything you wanted to pretty much do on there and they wouldn't even bother you about it then i believe it was the if i'm if my memory serves correctly the pewdiepie incident and the logan paul incident and then more and more they just start cleaning it up wanting to disney it up and the thing that i hated about it that pissed me off the most was that you don't allow us uh, average can uh, average person to cuss it affects our money but then you drop premium content that you call premium content with cussing and violence in it it's like what are you talking about freak it it's just super confusing on on trying to learn what they want what they don't want and then if you flip it over to twitch there's no way to be discovered on twitch from what all the people that's telling you how to do twitch is telling you you know, oh, you got to do videos on YouTube to pull them over to Twitch because Twitch has horrible discoverability. Why does Twitch have horrible discoverability? You know, what if you're a person that just... What if you were a person that just wanted to uh, just do Twitch? If you listen to the people telling you how to do Twitch, is it just impossible to grow? Can you just not grow on Twitch without YouTube? You know, it's like... 
what are we saying here? I'm just, I don't know. I just, I get really confused. Like, what are we, what are we, what are we even doing? And a person said, well, why do you, why do you keep posting? I mean, I enjoy it. It's a hobby, but I don't think I don't have these thoughts. Everybody is in, every creator is in my particular situation. I'm successful and I'm above the poverty line in a whole nother career. I'm chilling anyway. It doesn't matter to me. But I mean, the person or the kid that comes out that really wanted to start, I mean, they're in a drastically different position than when Ninja got up there at whatever age he started, you know, uh, butt naked, faced it and just popped. And now he's making $20 million a year. That case is, I just, I feel like it's gone. I feel like the person that is going to pop is picked. That's, that's my, that's my, um, that's my thesis, you know, that's my my idea of it. Or my conspiracy. Y'all, y'all comment at the bottom, let me know if I'm wrong. But I feel like they're picked. I feel like someone picks them. And, you know, it's almost how back in the day you would go sign a record deal and then end up on the radio. I feel like it's almost that. You'll do your videos, you'll probably get up to two, three thousand subs, then someone in the powers that be can say, he'll do a lot of sales, and they just pick you. And next thing you know, you just grow. Sometimes it feels that way. I could be totally wrong. I'm just saying it, it feels that way. I remember the videos that I were, was posting, you know, five years ago in, in the trucking community. They were not as nearly as sophisticated as they are now. I was, I did my first 100, 200, 300 videos with a cell phone. I think it was a Note 2 or Note 3. And I was getting subs like gangbusters. And now I have the computer. I have a $5,000 camera. I have all these different things. I have a roadcaster, good mics, decent sound. And it's like, it is so super hard to grow at all really it's just a grind you have to keep pushing and posting and posting and posting but it was like it was not this hard i just i think it was like after three or four videos i was getting traction in that community and, and over here is like none it's like you have to be ordained almost and i said oh if you post and they'll see you that actually is not true just because you're posting they're not gonna see you that's not true that is not true. I can see if it was a, you know, a, 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 a first come first serve type of algorithm where since you posted last, you're kind of at the top. And if you don't get the proper traction, they'll drop you to the bottom. That's not how this goes. The truth is they pick. They choose. They pick. It's just that freaking simple. They choose. They pick. Or you have to make some type of content talking about it, which will bring people to you and all this other type of stuff. Then people say, oh, well, you just got to be good. Well, I'm on Twitch pretty heavily. And there are some guys who are really good at playing with no type of people in there. I go in there, there's two people in there. And then if you go to their YouTube, they post, you know, they post some stuff and it, it has nothing to do with how good you play. It, it really doesn't. In the, in the bowels of starting, it has nothing to do with how how really really good you play it really doesn't you know you have to you have to either be telling somebody how to cheat or telling somebody that someone else is cheating or or you know gaslighting people on a subject and you know pissing um pissing some kid off or something like that and then it'll get some views because of the negativity in our society today that's what people want to freaking see and to be honest people are just kind of probably just tired of seeing the same type of game like I seen this thing where the uh, the Superman for PS5, I was like, it was just so totally, it felt different. It was technically, it's just GTA where the guy can fly around, but it felt different. It gave me some semblance of hope. Like, oh, something different is going to come out. You know, and that would make you interested in watching the gameplay probably, but, you know. We, the, the, I think it was some petition at the bottom to teach you, to, for you to sign to get them to <laughs> make the game excuse me but most likely you know the games they just keep kicking out the same game battle royale type of fighting and shooting loadouts running around all this type of stuff arguing online because i mean overwatch i thought overwatch would be you know totally different but when i look up a lot of the videos that people make around overwatch are are extremely toxic and like why is everything so toxic that is what works. I do not blame any creator for making, you know, some form of toxic content to make fun of it. Like uh, one that I just follow was OG Purge. 
where he basically trolls idiots on the internet and racist people and, you know, homophobic people. And it, I, I enjoyed it. I'm not going to act like it wasn't fun. But what I'm saying is there's, if he would not grow without that, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let him. You almost, he almost has to do that. He has to do it because I mean, for, who knows how long he was just playing and he's an awesome player. Who knows how long he was just playing good and got no traction. None. I don't know, man. That's just my view on it, man. If you like the channel, man, please uh, hit the like button. Um, uh, definitely sub. But that's how I sometimes feel. I'm just giving you the mind barf of a creator and how I feel about the situation right now. What's going on in my head? You let me know if what I'm thinking is crazy. You let me know if you're growing super easily. You let me know if I'm just some stupid douche, man. I thank you for coming around and uh, let me know if you enjoy the video. Mm -hmm.